Hey beauties! Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my May favorites video. And before we get into the whole thing of, oh my god, I can't believe it's June. Oh my god, May went by so fast. Let's just get to the goodies. So the very first thing that I have is going to be an obvious favorite because I talked about this. And this is the Josie Moran Vibrancy Argon Oil Foundation. It is made with 100% argon oil. It does fantastic things for your skin. If you are dry and you are looking for something that gives you pretty good coverage, not full coverage, but not just too light, this is your boo. If you have rosacea or anything, this really helps to calm your skin. But before I go like full on like, oh my God, you have to have this foundation, just look at my review. I will link it down below. It's amazing. And then also, you guys, I kind of pulled one over on you. Instead of doing a haul, I did a get ready with me trying out new products and then I've been using everything else without telling you guys so that I could try them out and surprise you with my favorites. That way it wasn't like, oh, you've talked about this a million times. Oh, I saw this in your haul. I tried to be a little bit more creative with it and be like, ta-da! So this is a ta-da! And this is the Pure Glow Together Bronzer and I love this guy. So this is what I have on my face today to bronze up my skin. It's huge. It has half shimmer and half matte. I swirl it all together and slather it on my face. And I love the effect it gives. It's more of a cooler toned bronzer. So like if you didn't want to contour and you wanted to brighten, not brighten, warm up the skin in a more like cool toned way. That doesn't even make sense. Warm up the skin in a cool toned way. Whatever. You guys get it. This is awesome. The next thing is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Dior Pore Minimizer. I love this guy, it comes with a pump. It really does a fantastic job of blurring out the pore area and you can use it all over the face. I do that sometimes, mainly I use it here. Today I have it all over because my skin hates me, you know, that time of the month, you girls understand. Um, but I was having issues with the rest of my Skin Smoother by Makeup Forever, it's not skin smoother, it's skin smoothing, equalizer, yada, 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 you guys know. But I decided to switch back to this and have been re-loving it, fell in love with it all over again, and I'm already almost out of it, so there's that. Next, I have two eyeshadows. The first one is Orange Soda, and this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this one because it reminds me of Max Samoa Silk. Not exact dupe or anything like that, but it's a softer orangey shade, so it's not too pigmented, but it doesn't lack the pigmentation either. It's like a, I don't know, it just reminds me of Samoa Silk and I don't have that, so I kind of feel like I found a kind of dupe. Not exact, but kind of. And then the other one was also from Anastasia, and this is Pink Champagne. If you get no other shadows from her, get Pink Champagne. This one is gorgeous. This is what I was wearing on my eyes when you guys were like, please do a tutorial. And I will do a tutorial, but like, I, <laughs> I'm so like everywhere right now trying to get ready for vacation. I'm still trying to decide if I even have time to film, but that's beside the point. Get Pink Champagne. Now you guys have also seen these in a tutorial. You've seen one of them, not the other. These are the Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Sticks from MAC. The first one I have is in the shade Lilac. This one is so pretty. So it's like a purple shade that has like a reflex of gold in it. It's really, really nice. I wanna do a tutorial with this. Possibly that purple smoky, not purple smoky, but purple eye I was talking about doing. And then this one is Soft Steel. And you guys, these do not move. Like, I'm gonna let these set up a little bit when I do my next swatch and show you guys, they don't move. You can run water over it, you can take a bath, it's not gonna come off until you actually wash it off. Stays put, it means business. This is a new product from Lorac, and A, packaging, on point, let me just tell you, this is so pretty. It is metal something, I don't know, it's pretty. <laughs> and you open up, it's magnetic. Like, how sleek is that? It's so sleek. This is the Buildable Blush in Matte, and it is Tinge. This color specifically, I have been loving. And the reason why I grabbed this one is because it reminded me of Cheeky Booger from MAC, a limited edition shade that I have really loved. And they are super duper pigmented. They are a little bit powdery, but, 
I don't know if you guys can even see that. Let me put it on my hand. But they do build up really, really, really nicely. So the powderiness does not bother me. Now let's go on to these little shadow sticks. Let me really rub. They are not going to come off. Like that's fabulous. Look, shields. The next thing is from Mac Brook Candy. And this is a Vamplify lip gloss. If you have not tried the Vamplify, they are awesome. They come out sometimes and Hopefully MAC will make them permanent because this is Pamela. Pamela Vamplify Lip Gloss from MAC. This looks like Whirl in a gloss. It's so pigmented and I'm obsessed with it. I bought it, wore it, and then was like, uh, I need two more. So I have three. So I do not plan on running out of that anytime soon. Now we have something that I'm the last person on earth to get on board with. This is the Tattoo Liner from Kat Von D. I had no idea this was a brush tip. Like they're brushes, not just felt. So I have been really digging this. I got this like 100 point perk from Sephora. Now I'm gonna have to go buy the full size. Thank you, Sephora. The only thing I would change about this guy is that I would rather it be matte. It is a little shiny, but it glides on so well and you can use it with the point instead of just going flat that I'm just like, it's okay. And apparently it's waterproof. Haven't tested that out, but apparently it is. And then MAC 35 lashes. I need to stop wearing these. I keep on wearing them. Our store was out of them for so long that when we finally got them back in, I bought a ton of them and I just keep wearing them. Like today, I wanted to wear them with this eye look and it probably would have been way prettier, but I said, put them down. They're so fluttery, wispy. I love these. So good, get you a pair of MAC 35 lash. The very last thing is not makeup related, but I am obsessed with these. So there's a story behind these. Let's see if I can beat this little thing. It's like ticking and making me really anxious and talk really fast. So I rode my motorcycle to work. I accidentally wore my tint advisor and I didn't leave until 10 o'clock that night. So I was like, shoot, I need something. Didn't have any glasses, so I went to Sunglass Hut. Well, the lady in there, I was like, she was helping me find like some clear ones that would transition so I could wear them at nighttime. And these things were hideous and they were $200. I was like, oh my God, I, I don't want to buy these. They're so expensive. I'm only going to use them tonight. And then like, what do I do? She was like, bring them back. She was like, I want you to be safe. Seriously, I don't care. I was like, you make commission. I know you make commission. And she was like, it's totally fine. Just buy them today, wear them home and then bring them back. I was like, she is so nice. I did not do that. I ended up going home early that day because the electricity was out at our store, so it was fine. But I came back and I bought sunglasses from her because she was so sweet. So these are the glasses I got. They're Prada something, I don't know. I don't normally spend money on glasses, but like I said, I was just, I felt like I owed her one and these were cute, so. <laughs> It justified it. So these are the shades, and I think they are to die for. Love these. Anywho, let me know what you guys' favorites were for the month down below. I love reading that. And also, a side note, I am going on vacation. I had a few videos pre-recorded, but they did not work out, and I had to delete them. So if I don't have videos out for a week, if that's what's going on or if I only have one video out instead of two, I apologize. I am doing my very best. I'm going to try to have them out, but in case I don't, that is why. And I'm going to quit talking now and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!